Hey, welcome to this episode of I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, where today I want to talk about how it sucks to be a single parent. So the big question is this, how are parents like us, who don't have a manual, who are doing the best we can, who feel as though we aren't enough, how are we going to raise healthy, happy children who we are proud of and still keep our sanity in that process? That's the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Ryan Roy, and welcome to I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, a podcast for parents who are being real with themselves. Hey, welcome back to this episode of I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, where today I want to talk about how it sucks to be a single parent. And uh, first of all, I just want all of the single parents out there mothers fathers uh you know grandparents who took in little ones whatever it is that's not um traditional let's put it that way to know that i admire you i will start off by saying this uh, i was raised by an amazing woman For those of you who don't know, obviously, uh, I don't know jack about parenting. I've written a book, Be the Dad You Wish You Had, because I had an absent father. I was abandoned by my father at age five. Uh, So I was raised by a single mom who worked extremely hard to provide for us. And as I go through my own parenting journey, I wonder how she did it. (laughs) Uh... and, and I'll tell you what's bringing this on is is my wife uh, just had a business trip. Uh, I from Monday through Friday, it happens to be a Friday when I'm recording this. Uh, she just got back. I'm going out and picking up uh, dinner because both of us are exhausted. She went overseas, and it was just a long week. There's something special, and I do not ever want to take this for granted, uh, about having a two-parent family where we get to um, really work on our what, we're, what our strengths are as parents and as individuals and pour that into our child. Uh, and we get to sit back and have conversations separate from the children about what it is and how we want to raise them and we get to bring the best of what we both have to offer uh, and hopefully excluding some of those things that we're just not really good at my wife is great at keeping a a very organized and tidy house and a great schedule and although i'm good at those things in business uh in in the home life She's good at planning the vacations and, and finding out what's in town and, and taking care of all the things that are happening at school. Just not that I can't do it. It's just not where my attention is drawn. She gets to do all that for our family. I get to do the everyday pouring into acknowledgement building up the homework stuff the uh the thinking outside the box the the conversations around um honoring who we are and being in high integrity and some of those detail things like that that we do on a daily basis uh which my wife does doesn't it's not her focus it's my focus and then we get to take the best of the best and throw it all at these kids and hopefully um they recognize how much conscious effort is put into them. But as a single parent, and, and here's the other thing about a, uh, you know, the, the group, if she's having a bad day, I can say, go take a nap. Go to the salon. Go take care of you and have some you time because you obviously in this moment need that for you. And she could say the same thing to me. Hey, Ryan. You're not having the best day. Uh, I don't want to be around you. The kids don't want to be around you. Uh, So you know what? Why don't you go for a run? Why don't you go and spend some time with some friends? Uh, But whatever you need for you, you go do. But that single parent, I applaud you. 
Because when you want you time, you probably don't get you time. You sacrifice for your children. As a matter of fact, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I'm getting a little teary-eyed just thinking about it. My mom had to sacrifice so much so that we could have. She had to sacrifice herself. And that's what you would say, the mom's listening. That's what moms do. You give of self uh, for your children. And, and that's what you're supposed to do in your mind. But you also need time for yourself so that you can recharge those batteries so that you could be the best for your kids. And I don't know how much single parents get that unless there's a huge support system around them. So I just, you know, I, I title these things and, and those of you who listen to these, I title them to draw you in. Um, I don't think being a single parent necessarily sucks. I just think um, that's probably not the proper word. I admire single parents who are capable of juggling all those things for an ungodly amount of years, right? If it's 18 years or plus because the kids stick around for a little longer. But to do that day in and day out and sacrifice self. As parents, we sacrifice a lot. But I think the single parent sacrifices potentially their own identity when they're pouring into their kids. Um, and I experienced four and a half days of that this week where I had little downtime. Uh, I had little time to myself. Uh, as a matter of fact, because of the week, um, we took away video games for the week because there was no downtime for him because I had to pour in and take care of everything and do it ahead of schedule to get his brother down. And like, he didn't have downtime because he had to help me um, in this thing we call parenting. And, and you single parents who have... Uh, kids who are siblings and maybe a little bit distance we rely on them right I relied on my seven year old to help out with my 17 month old this week and we steal not on purpose it's out of necessity we steal a little bit of their childhood when they're asked to do some grown up things I know that was my experience as a, as a child I had to grow up I had to be responsible for things that I didn't necessarily, uh, at, at five years old, that my seven, almost eight-year-old probably won't have to worry about for a couple more years. Um, but we have to grow up way too fast because mom and mom and or dad um, rely on us to have a certain maturity level. Um, in my case, beyond my years. Um, and I don't think any parent desires that for their kids. Just life and circumstance dictate that. Whatever the circumstance is that makes a single parent a single parent, you've had to adjust and adapt. And in your adjustment and adaptation, your kids have to adjust and adapt. Just as mine did this week. So, just want to acknowledge the single parents out there who are going through the daily grind every day without a day off for 18 years. Um, my mom was one and I like to think she did an amazing job. Um, but it wasn't without a lot of self-sacrifice. So I'll thank my mother. Thank you mom for everything that you did for me. And for all of you single parents out there that may be listening to this, I just want to thank you for showing up and doing your best every day. Because being a parent many times is a thankless job. Um, our kids don't know, always know how to articulate a thank you. They don't always understand the sacrifices. They may many years later when they become parents themselves, but in the grind of it, they don't realize because I know I sure didn't. But now that I'm a parent myself, I'm reflecting and saying, how did she do it? 
I'll end on this thought. I have a, uh, a client, not necessarily a single father, but uh, joint custody of the kids uh, and really pours into his three children. His youngest at this point is um, just turned 18 and over the last three years has really become a superior athlete in uh, MMA martial arts fighting. And he had a tournament over the weekend and, and he's undefeated at this point. He's been fighting for three years. He just earned his first belt. And the way the fights go, typically after you get your belt and you do your thing, uh, you know, they, they you go back to the locker room, you shower, you change. And my client this morning said he did something different this time. He goes, it didn't work out between his mother and I, but I always focused on the kids. He goes, and, and, and we focused on him focusing on his kids over the last few years of he and I working together. And I've been through this journey with his son. And his son left the ring and went way up into the stands and gave his father a big hug. As I'm on the phone with my client this morning, and he's sharing this story, and, and right now, if you don't hear it in my voice, I'm, I'm, I'm choking up a little bit. He said the next day, he shared with his son, he didn't realize, he, he said to his son, you don't realize how much that meant to me. So thank you. And his son, because his dad knows how to acknowledge him, knows how to acknowledge his father. He says, dad, I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you for all your support over the last few years. You've always encouraged me. Despite, you know, some of the challenges uh, with his wife not wanting him to fight. Not wanting him to do those things. But it's his son's passion. He's so passionate that he's traveling to another country to get trained by one of the top fighting gyms in the world. Uh, and the guy wants to train him for free because he knows his potential it'll be an asset to his gym when this when my client's son becomes a champion or is at least talked in those circles and he did that essentially being a single dad that's the thank you he gets today but it's because he poured into his kids in certain ways over the last couple years so Single parents, encourage your kids through your actions of supporting their desires and their goals. And they will pay you back tenfold. Thank you, single parents. We'll see you in the next episode. Do you want to be the dad you wish you had? If so, go get my free book, Be the Dad You Wish You Had, at bethedadyouwishyouhad.com. Inside, you'll find my most effective 40 tips to quickly and easily transform yourself into the ideal dad. Go to be the dad you wish you had.com now and get it while it's free.